The simplest way to add custom CSS to WordPress is through the customizer. When logged in, go to the front end and click customize, then additional CSS. There are a couple nice things about this method. First, it's built into the WordPress course. So there are no other plugins needed. Second, it has live preview. You see the changes as you make them. You can also view the site at different breakpoints while editing. There are a few other nice features as well. For example, it will auto suggest CSS property names as you're typing. And there's some basic syntax highlighting and formatting that will help you catch errors like an invalid property name or a missed semicolon. There are a few downsides to the customizer, however. First, the CSS is loaded on every page of your site, so it's not good for one-off styles for just a handful of pages. Second, the CSS is tied to your theme, so you need to manually copy it over if you switch themes. The second method is inline CSS. This is a simple way to add CSS to specific elements or pages without using a plugin. All you have to do is add a custom HTML element anywhere in your page or post and wrap it in style tags. Then you can write your CSS as normal. This CSS will only affect the styles on the page where it is added, which helps reduce the size of your site-wide style sheet and keep your site running fast. Option number three is a visual CSS editor. This is perfect if you're not that skilled at CSS but want full control over your site design. A visual editor like MicroThemer will actually write the CSS for you. For best results, you want a basic understanding of CSS properties and rules, but this plugin does all the heavy lifting. You can literally point and click your way to a fully custom design. And if you're worried about plugin bloat, don't be. On the front end, it only loads the pure CSS, which is much, much faster than designing with a page builder instead. To demo the full version of MicroThemer and support this channel at the same time, you can use my affiliate link at buildthatwebsite.com slash microthemer, or click the link in the description. Number four is simple custom CSS. This is a free plugin in the WordPress repository. And if you don't need a full visual designer, this might be the option for you. It's basically the same as the customizer, except it's not tied to your theme. It has all the same benefits and it even has a backend editor with a little bit of extra additional CSS hinting, if you like. And number five is block specific CSS. If you like to add custom CSS to your Gutenberg blocks, Inline CSS using an HTML block can be cumbersome because it's not clear which styles are tied to which block. A better solution is to use the free block CSS plugin by Themile. This plugin adds a custom CSS field to each and every Gutenberg block in your editor where you can add block specific styles. It also helps with proper targeting because you can use the selector keyword instead of having to use your browser's inspector to find the unique ID of each block. This really speeds up your workflow and makes it more accessible for people that are still learning how to properly target selectors in CSS. Now, if you like this video, you're gonna love these next two. And if you'd like to see more of my content in your feed, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And as always, keep on building.